Well, all right guys, AMD is not messing around anymore. And with the launch of their Ryzen 5000 series CPUs just a week away, they have finally revealed a ton of details about their newest GPUs, the Radeon RX 6000 series, the most powerful gaming GPUs AMD has ever built, according to AMD, based on Big Navi RDNA 2 7 nanometer technology. There were three GPUs announced and confirmed today. Here's my quick recap. Excellent iBuyPower wanted to make an affordable custom liquid cooled desktop PC with hardline tubing. Three things allowed them to do it in the now available Element CL. First, a custom front distribution plate holds the pump and reservoirs for standardized tube routing. Second, sliding mechanisms built into the front panel and CPU block allow the Element CL to support different motherboard and GPU layouts. And third, specialized push to connect fittings save time during assembly. If you want iBuyPower to build you a customized Element CL gaming PC, click the sponsor link in the video description. So as usual with these events, the good stuff was towards the end. So I'm gonna recap in reverse order. Again, AMD announced and confirmed three GPUs all based on seven nanometer RDNA technology. We have the RX 6800 and RX 6800 XT launching November 18th. And we have the RX 6900 XT launching December 8th. All these GPUs are based on a core design that results in a chip with 26.8 billion transistors. And according to AMD, 30% faster clock speeds and 54% improved performance per watt versus first gen RDNA. DNA, combined with newly added hardware acceleration for ray tracing and some very compelling claims about performance against Nvidia's 3000 series, you can probably understand why people are getting pretty excited for this launch. Let's just hope inventory holds up. The big announcement at the end though was the Radeon 6900 XT launching December 8th for a price of $999 or let's just round up to a thousand. It's based on the Navi 21 XTX variant of this GPU and it features 80 compute units, a game clock of 2015 megahertz, which according to AMD should be the average clock that it runs at, and then a boost clock of 2250 megahertz, which is pretty good and that's gonna be what it will get up to in bursty scenarios. It also has a 128 megabyte infinity cache, 16 gigabytes of GD DDR6 memory, all in a package with a total board power of 300 watts. AMD said that the 6800 series cards they announced today have about a 54% performance per watt improvement over last gen, but the 6900 XT has a 65% performance per watt improvement, and AMD even showed a chart with their benchmark numbers, so take it with a bit of a grain of salt, but they're showing it competing directly with an RTX 3090 and even beating it in some games. Next we have the Radeon 6800 XT, which will launch on November 18th for an MSRP of $650. $50. This one's based on the Navi 21 XT core and has 72 compute units, a 2015 megahertz game clock and 2250 megahertz boost clock, which is the same as the 6900 XT, and also shares the 128 megabyte cache and 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, as well as the total board power of 300 watts. Here we have a card that is apparently going to be trading blows and again, sometimes beating Nvidia's latest RTX 3080, also while apparently drawing less power. So again, here are AMD's comparison benchmarks against the RTX 3080. These are AMD's numbers, so we should wait for independent reviews to verify them, but uh, it's, it's looking pretty good because I don't see AMD fudging these numbers too much. Finally, we have the relatively more affordable Radeon RX 6800, also launching on November 18th, this time with a price of $579, or let's round up to 580. This one's based on the Navi 21X L GPU. It has 60 compute units, a game clock of 1,815 megahertz, and a boost clock of 2105. Again, it has a 100 128 megabyte infinity cache and 16 gigs of GDDR6 VRAM, this time with a lower total board power of 250 watts. Here AMD's benchmark comparisons show it trading blows with an RTX 2080 Ti. Presumably they didn't have quite enough time to get RTX 3070 numbers because that just launched yesterday, but those are right in the same ballpark with each other. But I think it's interesting that AMD is sticking with a $580 price tag for this versus the $500 price tag of the RTX 3070. That could mean that AMD is very confident about its performance against the just released $500 card from Nvidia. That rounds out the specs, release date, and pricing of the three announced cards. There were some extra things tossed in there though, such as Rage Mode, which is AMD's new one-click overclocking tool. This one sounds like it works similar to Auto OC on Ryzen CPUs and will probably boost based on temperatures and power consumption in a situational type way. AMD also showed their smart access memory, which gives the CPU full access to GPU memory on a Ryzen-based system. You do have to pair it with a 500 series motherboard though, that could improve game load times. And according to AMD, again, combining the two of these, Rage Mode and the Smart Access Memory, results in a four to 13% 
performance increase depending on the game that you are playing. They also showed off AMD latency reduction technology, which is a combination of AMD's Radeon anti-lag and Radeon boost. Uh, not too much details here, so I'm sure we'll be hearing more about this in the coming weeks, but this appears to be a further push to compete in the lag reduction war, which is very popular for fast-paced games. Team Green has been showing off NVIDIA Reflex recently, which is their solution for uh, lag reduction, which apparently is pretty effective if you pair it with a really high refresh rate monitor like 240 hertz or 360 hertz. But I imagine once all these cards start launching, we will see comparisons between the two of those. There are some questions that came up, of course, if you look at some of the test details. Uh, AMD's tests were using smart access memory, and it's a question as to how much that was boosting the performance. And they also used Rage Mode for those 6900 XT numbers, which brings up the question of how much Rage Mode was overclocking the 6900 XT in order to achieve those numbers and what stock performance will be like comparatively. There are a lot of details about Rage Mode that still need to be figured out, but we'll leave that for a future video that's not a quick recap. My summary here would be, uh, oh my gosh, AMD is launching a $1,000 graphics card. And while that might sound very expensive to you, it's them competing with NVIDIA's $1,500 graphics card, an area where AMD has not competed for a very long time, and I think that's good news. Also, AMD is now launching a $580 graphics card that competes with the RTX 2080 Ti. So again, assuming AMD is being forthright with all of their benchmark numbers and everything, it seems like they have made a huge leap in performance compared to RDNA first gen, and especially compared to GCN that they were working with before that. And for anyone who has lamented the lack of competition towards the higher end of graphics cards, uh, it sounds like some relief is coming very soon. We should be finding out at the soonest, hopefully on November 18th, when the 6800 and 6800 XT launch, and I should hopefully be bringing you some coverage, benchmarks, and reviews of those cards. So if you enjoyed this video, then hit the thumbs up button on your way out and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see those videos when they launch. Check out some of my recent content if you're curious about how RTX 3090s and SLI overclock when you cool them with ice water. And if you'd like to help me out, then check out my store at paulshardware.net where you can find merchandise, shirts, mugs, pint glasses, and all other cool sorts of things to buy. Thank you guys so much again for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you are hyped about this and compare your hype level for this announcement with your hype level as it was before the RTX 3080 launched and none of them were actually available for anyone to buy. Thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.